A special legislative committee has resumed the hearings surrounding the death of Ronald Green. The case first grabbed national attention back in 2019 when it was revealed that police intentionally or initially tried to cover Green's death up as a fatal crash. Committee member Representative Tony Bacala said the inconsistencies and lack of communication within the state police show change needs to come from the top. State Police Superintendent Colonel Lamar Davis said he has implemented major changes to improve the culture. He says the investigative and internal affairs divisions report directly to him, which previously was not the case. I wish I could tell you that we, we are here today. We're there today. We're not. Um, we have in a matter of three to four years implemented more technology than most agencies do in seven years, but we're still not there yet. Davis also says the department has added de-escalation training and now more types of interactions between the public and troopers must be recorded. Ronald Green's mother testified in just the last few minutes. Governor Edwards was asked again to attend today's hearing but declined citing a scheduling conflict. That hearing is coming on the same day that a grand jury in Union Parish will begin hearing evidence to decide if anyone will face charges in Green's death. Leah McNeil has more. As the House Legislative Committee continues their meeting right now, a grand jury is meeting too. Court proceedings were initially scheduled for Friday, but were delayed until today after a member of that grand jury had a minor surgery that could have interfered. Now, today's court proceedings are over three years in the making. Now, Green led troopers on a high speed chase back in May in 2019 before crashing his car in Union Parish. Troopers initially said he died in that car crash, but months after the incident, body camera video release showed troopers beating tasing and forcing Green face down on his stomach before he went limp and died. A revised autopsy report based on FBI records connects Green's death to a list of things, including troopers hitting the 49 year old in the head, restraining him at length and his use of cocaine. Now, the report stopped short of classifying Green's death as a homicide. Now, Union Parish District Attorney John Belton has yet to release any details into which troopers or sheriff's deputies could be facing charges or any information related to the charges he's pushing for. Belton has said in previous statements that all charges in including obstruction of justice are on the table. Now, amid these grand jury proceedings and the legislative committee meeting, federal authorities are also investigating the Ronald Green case, but have not yet made any arrest. Erica.